Hey y'all, Pepper Guy here. Thanks for joining me again. In the greenhouse today, um, it's starting to warm up. Uh, it's in the mid 80s. I think it's supposed to be about about 90, 90, 92 or so this week. But yeah, we got a good 97, 98 in here. Um, but uh, what this video is today is to show you my uh, my irrigation system. So. Um, First of all, I decided to go with uh, gravity fed because I don't have power out here and um, I don't want to run power out here. So um, I'll start, I guess. I've, I've got a gutter system out here. And since this is a, you know, a, a lean to style, I pretty much get all of that water by one gutter, which is nice. Um, it's about 120 square foot, so every inch of rain, more or less, I get um, I get about 65 gallons of water. And since my tank, um, which my water tank is inside this detached garage, um, it's uh, 70 gallons. So, yeah, it gives me quite a bit of uh, water. And, and um, it was a challenge. It was a challenge to make this all gravity fed. Um, the only power I have is uh, two AA batteries that run the valve that opens and closes, um, you know, daily or every other day. Uh, but yeah, so the water starts here, goes through this, if you can see that PVC pipe there, and that just goes into my garage and pretty much go, dumps right into the top of the, um, of the tank. Now the challenge is having the tank uh, low enough so that gravity can feed this water right into the tank but high enough to where you get enough pressure to when the water does come in, it, uh, it goes all, all the way around. And see, I got these little quarter inch, these quarter inch tubes off the main uh, half inch line. Um, and I actually made that slanted down. It's slanting down all the way down. So this point right here where it ends is about six to eight inches higher than that. And I don't know if it makes a big difference, but you know, when it's gravity fed and your PSI is like one to two PSI, any bit of, uh, um, you know, any bit of increasing flow helps because that friction really uh, makes a difference and will slow that water down. So um, every, every one foot that your water is, um, that your water tank is raised above your plants, it uh, gives you 0.42 PSI. So mine's at about two, about right at two feet. So, I mean, I'm not even running at one PSI. Um, but for that reason, I slant everything downwards and um, surprisingly it's worked really well. Um, every one of these emitters have been dripping. Um, obviously it's not gonna be a, a high pressure, you know, pss, like, you know, it's just dripping, but um, it's fine. It's it's uh it's worked out well. I don't really need high pressure. Um, I'll get these on in a minute. Let's see. As you can see, the little green dripper there. Uh, these drippers also I got them at um, a Drip Depot online, and it's about the only place I could find a um, a low pressure emitter. Uh, I couldn't find anything like this at any irrigation stores or, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot. So, uh, yeah, Drip, uh, Drip Depot is awesome. They've got hundreds of these. And uh, these are special for low pressure. Um, you know, they drip just just perfectly at one, one PSI. Um, yeah, I guess that's, uh, that's about it. I will leave... Um, the valve system that I've got, that automatic valve uh, system in the description. It's from Toro. Um, I think it was like 25 bucks on Amazon. And um, all of this drip tape, this, this is just half inch, um, half inch tubing, um, quarter inch tubing. All of this stuff was at Home Depot and it's pretty cheap. Um, I think I got all the hoses, hoses and fittings and everything for maybe 25 or $30 total. Um, and I can use this drip tape or this this half inch hose for years and years. I mean, I've still got a ton left over. I think it was a hundred foot, and I think I used forty foot of it. So I've got plenty, uh, plenty left over, as well as these little um, these little quarter inch um, hoses. So uh, 
So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and show y'all that. So, be right back. All right. So here we go, I'll show you some action here. Look at that. Look at that. Let's see if I can, uh, where's it at? I think I'm zooming in too close. And I mean, they are all going. Here, I'll go to the last one. Last one might take a second for it to, for the water to travel there, but this is the very last plant. You can see we got, yep, here it goes. Look at that, pretty good flow. Um, now I'm gonna let it go. These, some of them kind of really, really pour out, which is totally fine. I mean, these are three gallon pots. I don't care if it flows out pretty good. Um, as long as I don't get any, any of these lines clogged up, which they are all dripping, all of them dripping. Perfect. And yeah, this just, uh, this just allows you to put it right where it needs to be, which is at the base of the plant. Uh, you can serve quite a bit of water. Yep, none of them are clogged up so far. That's one of the things you need to keep an eye on though. Uh, yeah, they all look to be good. I've got some peppers starting, look at that. Um, I thought I was gonna, I was a little worried about, um, you know, if I was gonna get much pollination in here. These are red furies, these are supposed to be pretty hot. Um, yeah, I was concerned with the fact that, you know, I don't have a lot of air. I mean, I don't have much wind in here, uh, but I do open the, um, I do open the door as much as I can and it really allows, you know, air moves pretty good. Dang, I didn't even notice this one. That's a, it says Scotch brains. I don't know. It kind of, we'll see, but yeah, that's a Scotch brains. That is a tomato. Um, I want to make room for this tomato right over here. So I'm actually gonna take these two out, move these a little and have a tomato plant here. I just want one. Um, I hate to get rid of some plants, but I'm gonna give it to a guy at work. He will appreciate them. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna let this go for just five minutes. Um, and uh, I'm actually going to um, do my first uh, fertilization. I'm just gonna use, I just like fish emulsion. And uh, so, yeah, I'm not watering too much because I'll put a good, I don't know, half gallon of water in each of these with that. Um, maybe not even quite that much. But, uh, yeah. Oh, here I also added a 55-gallon barrel. Um, um, what's it called? A rain barrel. And um, I'm actually going to use that for, uh, for any fertilization. Um, see, I've got... Got a little valve on it. So when my tanks inside fill up, I will open this and I will close the ones inside so all the water will come in here. And I think I've got about probably 20 gallons in there right now. We had quite a big rain uh, last week. So uh, that put quite a bit quite a bit in there. Um, getting good water. I just love this because it's just no waste. It's no waste of water. It just, you know, drips right there. Um, I think if I'm going to be in the nineties, like it is now, I think I'm going to probably have to maybe do it once a day for like three minutes or every two days for five minutes. I don't know, but we'll see. I'm playing with it. Um, looks like I got a little scalding on some of these. Uh, I think some of them came out a little too early, but it'll bounce back. Um, it'll be just fine. I've, I've, picked off some of them um but man i've got lots of flowers so i know it's look at this one um i know it's kind of ugly you get some uh, upward leaf curl but this is a uh, white devil's tongue and it does this every year and it comes out beautifully i get tons of peppers i love the taste of them look at all the flowers i've got probably 40 of them on that little plant um and that one's kind of growing like a dang like a chill tepin says chocolate reaper i got this at a local store i don't know if that's i don't know i i trust them i guess until the fruit comes we'll see but yeah guys that's it um y'all got any questions or have a suggestion for me maybe something i could do better 
um, by all means, let me know. Or uh, if you got any questions on, you know, how I did this, I can, I could show you a little more. I could show you my tanks. Um, but, you know, it's, the tanks are just two 35 gallon um, side leg tanks. You'd, you'd usually find them on like a tractor, or, you know, some spray rig or something. Um, but uh, any tank will work. Um, and yeah, I've got a three quarter inch PVC coming outside to where it meets a pressure fitting to connect this half inch directly to that. You can see it out there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, any, any questions, let me know. And, um, I guess for now, that's it. Uh, we will see y'all next time. Thanks.